Catharism, a Christian schism dating at least to the 10th century, rejected Catholicism and was crushed over a long period, ending in the 1300s. In this same general region, the French later destroyed the Occitan language. The Inquisition began here in the 12th century. The Spanish version came later and focused more on Jews and Muslims. It was then exported to the Americas, where it was against everybody. The story is recounted in a museum of miniatures called Santon. It's a thing in these parts, set into dioramas. There's a Christian church, but uh, we don't know exactly when. But thinking receives the command directly from the first apostle. The first trust writing against them uh. in the 10th century in the Balkans area. The Cathars called the Catholic Church the Church of the Wolves. The Cathars believed in a dualism, to wit, there were two creations, good and evil. They rejected the cross and the Eucharist, last judgment and hell. The Cathar preachers, known as the good men or perfects, tell us that because God is goodness, this world must be the work of the devil. Rome is worried. For 12 years, Pope Innocent III tries to convince the Occitan nobility to chase the heretics away. In 1208, a papal delegate is murdered at an inn by the Rhone River. Rome fingers the Count of Toulouse, excommunicates the Cathar priests, and launches a crusade. Sly diplomacy and an army of knights and mercenaries attack the south of France. The entire city of Béziers, 20,000 people of both religions, murdered. In the village of Bram, 100 hostages are disfigured and marched through the countryside to terrorize the other villages. So for seven weeks they were holed up in here, yeah. until in the end they had to give in. Well, that, is that when the catapult came? Well, they, they, they were bombarded with, yeah. with that tram. Yeah. And then um, they said, because these people, the Catholics here, would, would not agree to become Catholic. Catholics mm. under the Pope, then the bishop said, okay, well then that's fine, you can all become baptized uh. as Catholics. And those that said no, were all burnt to death. They were perfect. Burnt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the perfects, yeah. the elders of the church, yeah. were all burnt to death. Simon de Montfort continues his road of blood and fire, but never completely conquers the Languedoc. He is killed in 1218 by a catapult armed by women. Yay. The Occitan people reconquer the land little by little, but more crusades are to come. The final defeat comes with the burning of the last perfect, Guillaume Belebast, in 1321.